welcome to my channel. I hope that you are having a fabulous day. I have a design team project to share for ASC Craft Supplies. I will leave their link in the description box below. And if you use my coupon code MICHELLE10, you can receive 10% off any regular price purchases and any order $75 or more ships free. And what I have created today is Christian's Crafty Adventures sewing machine. And she did a wonderful tutorial for this using only her scoreboard and paper cutter. The only thing that I did alter is here on the box, I did put two drawers. And the paper collection that I used is the Prima My Sweet, and it is a sewing themed paper collection. And I was able to pull, try to pull out my inner shabby side for this project. So I've used lots of flour and lace, as you can see. And I did have some of this fabric in my stash, so I just put it there as if I were sewing. And the papers were from ASC Craft Supplies as well, and they were the flowers for the paper collection. So I think I used like a pack or two on those, <laughs> just on the front here. And I did use this beautiful uh, ephemera piece that says, tell me something beautiful. One of the chipboard stickers here, and then one of the sewing charms as well. So I used I think pretty much everything from the collection except for this fabric and lace and of course the little spool and on the front i did tuck in some buttons that i've had in my stash forever and then this button i thought it looked kind of like a knob that you would have here on the side on your sewing machine and lots of pop dots here on the ephemera piece and just trying to think here what else i've added and of course i put the spool and i had some green thread i wrapped around it and some of the little flowers from the collection as well. And this piece of lace here I've had in my stash forever from a previous design team that was a lace store. So I have a little bit of it left. I've been hoarding it. So I did use some here very sparingly. <laughs> uh, it's just a gorgeous trim and looks so pretty, I think, on the sewing machine. And then I have some lace tucked around the base here. And my friend gave me these drawer pulls. And then the drawers just pull out like this. And I'm probably still going to line the inside yet. I'm just not sure. And the drawers just pull out like this. And we'll just turn it around. And I did cheat a little bit. I didn't have a spool. I think is what she used for the little knob on her sewing machine. So I did have a digital cut file sewing machine. And I just cut out the wheel and used it here. And put another little button. And then you can see the thread. And I cut or not cut, I punched out a circle and put on the top of the spool. And this is what the back looks like. You can see this beautiful floral paper that I carried around from the front. And here is this gorgeous uh, butterfly page with the roses carried throughout. It is just a stunning paper collection. And I do love this pink with the white polka dots. And on this side here, I have some little drawer pulls. And then these just slide out as in Christian's tutorial. Um, as I said, the only thing I changed was the bottom base. And then if you lift the spool up, you have a really nice deep pocket there. Christian does an amazing job at putting together these projects. And she has so many things that I want to create. I just run out of time. But I finally got around to the sewing machine. I just think it's um, a beautiful pattern. And I love how this came out. Um, it's been a while since I was, my mojo's kind of been gone, so I feel like it's coming back a little bit. I was really pleased with how this came out. We'll leave a link to Christian's channel in the description box below. I'm sure most of you know who she is. Super talented, sweet lady. And make sure to visit ASC Craft Supplies and use my coupon code MICHELLE10 for 10% off any regular price purchases and any order $75 or more ships free. So thanks for watching and have a great day. Bye-bye.